Hey dude, what's up? Where are you at right now? I mean, that's easy, you're on Earth, right? And even if we wanted to get more specific, that only takes two coordinates, really, latitude and longitude. Now, the question is a lot harder if uh, instead of living on Earth, you were living in a fractal, like the Mandelbrot set, or uh, the coastline of Britain, or anything really, Earth included. So, really, well, you do live in a fractal, you just call it reality. And uh, while it is harder to see reality as a fractal than it is to see the Mandelbrot set as one, it's quite intuitive to understand how fractal patterns emerge everywhere around you. So, while reality and the Mandelbrot set have lots in common, for example the fact that they're both complex structures arising from the application of simple rules, which is basically emergence, they actually differ in one thing, the amount of dimensions they're made up of, which is true for the Mandelbrot set and infinite, yes, infinite for reality. But hey, I'm sure you still have lots of questions. For example, one of the questions that humans and non-humans alike have asked themselves for a very long time is, where the fuck am I? And we humans became quite good at answering this for all the dimensions we directly perceive, namely space-time. We also figured out that with one coordinate for each dimension we can define exactly our position in any n-dimensional system which, practically speaking, means I can tell you my exact position in the whole history of everything by using four numbers. The x, y, z coordinates that I'm at right now, and the unit of measurement of time that defines what now is for me. Like, in this video, which has three dimensions, you can know exactly where this big chungus is with just three numbers. So, if you're paying attention, which, let's be honest, you don't really have to, like, this is a YouTube video after all, you'll immediately get that, yes, we can actually know our exact position in the infinite dimensional fractal we call reality. We just need a set of infinite coordinates. But dude, I'm just a mere three-dimensional being, what do I care about all those extra dimensions I can't even perceive? I mean, wrong, you are not, like, you are not a mere three-dimensional being, but even if you assume you are, the big chungus from before, whose wall reality resides inside this video, still exists in our higher dimensional reality. And even if you think that different layers of reality can't interact with each other, just watch me delete him real quick to prove you wrong. Now, this will be the part of the video where I talk about the origin point of this infinite set of coordinates, which many people call Nirvana, or God, or Source. But I think that deserves its own video, so yeah, this is actually the part of the video where I tell you that this infinite set of coordinates is actually the answer to the famous question Where is my mind? Where is my mind? Where is my mind? So, are you ready? This is gonna be a big one. Alright. <clears throat> The universe is a fractal, your mind is inside this fractal, and you can track its position using an infinite set of coordinates, one for each dimension. Your position inside the fractal dictates everything you perceive, from your physical position in the 4D space-time matrix, to your mental state and the thoughts that are being streamed into your aware mind right now, to your actual feeling, and uh, to even the infinitely many timelines of this multiverse and the position of your mind inside it. So it dictates literally everything. Like, the immediately perceivable, the only contextually knowable, everything. So, your mental state, the thing that you define as you, all of those things can be tracked with uh, this infinite set of coordinates. Anything corresponds to a coordinate in any of those infinite dimensions. And that is your position in the multiverse, or metaverse, if you want to be cooler. <laughs> But yeah, I, I, I really want to talk about so many more things, but fuck, that, that was a lot of info, I need to go take a shit.